Ian Clark back up here. Uh, aye, somebody's something. When I was a baby, too young to complain, I heard people say, somebody's way. So I made a protest in my very first jotter. I wrote the name Jean and know somebody's daughter. But to last for my pride, it was burst like a bluster when I heard the folks say I was somebody's sister. <laughs> and then in my teens it got steadily worse when they said I was old Mrs. Flanagan's nurse. <laughs> then I travelled up north just to make a new life. And in no time at all, I was somebody's wife. <laughs> so I looked in the mirror, and what did I see? The face that looked back was the image of me. So it's not very bony, the form's no divine, but I'm sure as a token, there's bound to be mine. So it puzzles me greatly what other folks see. When there's no doubt about it, they're looking at me. <coughs> then just as I speared, in came Alison's duck, and I tapped him my tail as he cocked his luck. But he looked with approach as he gave me his paw. Is it really that bad to be somebody's mo? And I can't, he was thinking, it really is, it's really just great to be nobody special, just somebody's pet. Now I'm somebody's auntie and somebody's gran and somebody's critic and somebody's fan. And I've reasoned it's better, consider no, <coughs> to be somebody's something than nothing at all. <laughs>